a for kansasports.com update. I'm about to break it down a quick Chiefs versus Eagles review. Uh, I apologize, I am driving. Um, so, I'll be fully be able to focus on the, the camera and uh, my stat sheet. So, speed from here, but. I think the Chiefs have an interesting matchup with the Eagles week two. I mean, plenty of storylines, right? You've got Andy Reid coaching tree, Doug Peterson, longtime coordinator, now coach of his former team, Philadelphia Eagles, um, playing the Chiefs fresh off that win versus New England. That momentum win, that statement win, the type of win telling the fan base, us, KC, that we're not just knocking on the door, we're here, we're in here, we've won at Oakland, we swept Denver, we swept the Raiders, we beat, ben we beat Oakland, what, four straight times now, the Chargers four straight times as well, Kansas City, like, they're a good football team. They started off shaky early. I mean, not not this season. I'm talking about the Reed era. When it comes to primetime games, they got blown out at Green Bay. They got blown out at Pittsburgh, but they had early turnovers. They couldn't move the ball. Alex Smith wasn't chucking it deep. He wasn't running. But Ty, Tyreek Hill pretty much changed everything. And then obviously, with the addition of Patrick Mahomes, that's huge huge um, for years to come but in the meantime for Alex Smith because the team we all know will go as far as Alex Smith takes you and to have somebody behind him that is drafted potentially to replace him at, and, and be the franchise quarterback he dealt with that similarly when he was in San Francisco and, and the 49ers got off to an undefeated start, I believe, before he got hurt that year that Kaepernick ended up taking them to the Super Bowl. They lost to the Ravens, but um, he maybe felt like he could have handled that differently. I'm sure the 49ers fans wish that that would have been held, different, held differently because uh, Kaepernick uh, sure busted, but I'm not saying Mahomes and Kaepernick are similar anyway because they're not um, <clears throat> but I truly, uh, I truly feel that Alex Smith knows that this is the best team he has ever been on. Period. Defense, they have playmakers. Next man up, they have a roster. Offensively, he has weapons. Travis Kelsey, best running tight, best route running tight end in the game. Bar none. Um, I know he didn't uh, he didn't show out against the Patriots, but that's because the Patriots did everything they could to shut down Travis Kelsey, and uh, therefore Tyreek Hill got open. Uh, Tyreek Hill had a good game. Answers a lot of questions. People saying, "Can Tyreek Hill be a number one receiver?" Yes, he can. Period. He can run routes. He can make clutch catches. He can create space, get open. He has speed. Tyreek Hill, one of the best receivers. He will be one of the best receivers, best playmaker in the game. Watch. And then future connection between Hill and Mahomes, deep ball, that's going to be a franchise right there. And... Kareem Hunt, <laughs> yes, everybody know what he did against the Patriots, showed out, absolutely showed out, new, new young Jamal Charles, look at how much production Jamal Charles provided as a part of Andy Reid's system and their offense, granted, I know they had no other weapons, but Kareem Hunt can hit you with 
the threat of being just a check down back and making plays, screen, making plays, or route running up the field, making plays, and, and like he did against New England, uh, really exposed their defense, uh, especially with his up and out from out of the backfield, when Smith threw that ball on target. Perfect throw, but he forced linebacker coverage, so that's a mismatch in itself. Cream Hunt can make plays. Um, the Chiefs are thrill. Absolutely thrill in the AFC that I think could be taken. Um, Pittsburgh's the only threat. The Chiefs should have beat Pittsburgh last year, but they didn't make plays. Alex Smith didn't make throws. Pittsburgh won. We'll get a chance against Pittsburgh at home this year. And uh, I think that will say a lot about this Chiefs team. I mean, they're already coming off one huge momentum win at home. Or, I mean, on the road, sorry, excuse me. Against New England team at home on Super Bowl night. Thursday night game, kicking off the season. That was a statement game. And they did it. I mean, they took down Tom Brady, Patriots. They really exposed the Belichick team. And we'll see if the Saints can capitalize on that. Uh, you know, Saints. And a lot of points are going to be scored in that game. The AFC is up for grabs. And I think the Chiefs, it's their time to take it. And I think with us being in, I think, the best division in football, the AFC West, Denver has an outstanding defense, not a good offense. Oakland, great offense, not a good defense. And Sandy, Los Angeles, my bad. They are always solid. Phillip Rivers has them looking good. Um, They've got weapons back that they didn't have last year due to injury. Keenan Allen, Melvin Gordon, they're going to be good. Um, to put up that many points in the fourth quarter uh, against that Denver defense on the road on a uh, Monday night game, that shows some grit. They're good. So that's not a cupcake by any means. has faced Phillip Rivers a, a lot now, Sam Bob Sutton. And that's that's a key to me, I think, is, is having coaches and, and players, a core group that has had enough games against certain personnel in the division, especially in the talented division, to really continue consistency and win. Um, and Reed is doing that for Kansas City. He really is. Um, in Philadelphia, he brought stability to that franchise. Five NFC, five NFC championship games, one Super Bowl pass. Lost to Tom Brady. But he took a franchise that had dealt with some dysfunction here in Kansas City and stabilized it. And some John Dorsey had a big part in that, granted. But excited to see what he can do with Patrick Mahomes and for the future of Kansas City football because their best players are young. Patrick Mahomes, potential franchise quarterback who has like raving reviews. He's not even starting on the bench. Tyreek Hill, fast player in the game. This is his second year. He's going for his sixth straight game with the touchdown of 60 yards or longer up here against uh, the Eagles coming up. Um, you can line him up in the backfield. You can line him up in the slot. You can line him up on the edge. You can do end arounds, fake end arounds. Just the presence of him gets the defense moving and worried. And now with Kareem Hunt showing his ability to find the holes on offense when he's rushing the ball. And be a threat 
as a pass catching back. That's huge. And Kelsey, we all know what he can do. He's young. Kareem Hunt's a rookie. Um, their offensive line has, is looking better. We'll see how they hold up against Philadelphia's front seven. Philly's got a good defense, but they don't have a good secondary. And I like the Chiefs' playmaking abilities in one-on-one -on -one matchup situations. Alex Smith gets rid of the ball really fast. And in one-on-one -on -one situations, I love our matchup advantage. Um, <clears throat> give, Car give Carson Wentz time. He'll pick you apart. But uh, the Chiefs' defense is better than Washington's defense. So we'll see how our pass rushers can, can uh, get into that Philadelphia offense. Um, can the Chiefs continue to stop the run? They got LeGarrette Blount from New England. Uh, I'm sure New England wish they still had LeGarrette Blount. Uh, he's a good third down back. So can the Chiefs get penetration? Can they dominate at that line um, in third downs? Can they make those key plays? I, Justin Houston, D Ford, and uh, Chris Jones, I like that odds. I, I do. Um, they, uh, they've got guys that are hungry to, to prove that they're, they're ready to step up. Ron Parker, Daniel Sorenstein, they, they have tremendous shoes to fill with the loss of Eric Berry, but I think they can do it. Um, and Rameek Wilson, great pass coverage linebacker, young, he has something to prove. Um, and it's always great to have DJ back. He's the quarterback of that defense. And, uh, um, the Chiefs, I think they'll be better this year stopping the run. But, uh, if our pass rushers, our edge rushers, they deep forward Justin Houston, they stay healthy, that will give uh, another dynamic dimension to this team that already led the NFL in turnovers last year. They, uh, they found ways to create turnovers. I mean, they were the best in the NFL takeaways. I think they had 32. Could be wrong. This is, but uh, most, either way, it was the most in the NFL. Um, the Chiefs are in the... The Chiefs can easily win this division again. Not easily. But the division is ours to lose. you got to come through our head and take it from us. There's good teams in this division. Oakland's good. It's going to be between us and Oakland. No disrespect to Denver or San Diego, but uh, they're not on the, that that same tier that Kansas City is, and, and, and I believe Oakland is because Derek Carr is a great quarterback. As much as I hate it, hate I hate to, ugh, even the words coming out of my mouth doesn't even sound right. I hate the Raiders, but Derek Carr is a good quarterback, and he's got good weapons around him with Amari Cooper. And now, Marshawn Lynch, you know, beast mode, stop being skilled, back in the NFL. Um, 70, 74, I believe, rushing yards, first game uh, against a, not a bad Tennessee defense to stop in the run. So, um, they got a good offensive line. He can be dangerous. He's a good all down back that. You know, can the Chiefs step up and really stop him on, on short yardage, third down situations, um, and get Oakland's offense off the field? Because I, I don't really believe in their defense uh, at all. Um, <clears throat> I believe we can really control the game and put up points on their defense, especially more so this year than we did last year. Um, but their offense is there is dangerous. So. Luckily, though, Denver's got to play Oakland twice. Oakland's got to play San Diego twice. I mean, we're off to play each other twice. But schedule-wise, I like our, our matchups on the road and at home. We've got our tough games out of uh, division at home. That's huge. Um, and playing road games that... You know, even though Airheads always hype, you feel like they're not going to be maybe as hyped. Uh, 
you know, playing most game police on the road keeps the team more focused. Um, going to the Giants, who the Cowboys handled. Um, to Cow I mean, to Dallas. That's the toughest probably road game out of uh, division that we have left. Um, that's going to be a good game. Um, yeah, that's going to be a really good game. Got Pittsburgh here in Arrowhead. Uh, I believe that's a primetime game, and uh, that's a revenge factor game from last year. It knocked us off the playoffs at home in Arrowhead. That hurt, and uh, this team, this team wants Adam. Arrowhead's gonna be loud. We won't get them. Uh, I, uh, the Chiefs have the potential, really, in the AFC. It's wide open to. Them do something, do damage, and if week one was any indication, I would like to see consistency, and I think they have all the reasons to come out in week two and, and play and do exactly what they need to do, and if they go out and they move the ball consistency consistently down the field and score um, against Philadelphia, and they are able to create turnovers and make plays on defense. Kansas City is a force to be, with, force to be reckoned with. And uh, I think the whole NFL will take note. So, I, I have the Chiefs winning um, against Philly. I think the Chiefs go out there and put up 30 points on them. I think it's... In my opinion, 30 to 30, 30 to 16, uh, um, Casey's way. Um, I think Kareem Hunt will have over 100 yards on the ground. Um, but more importantly, I, I think Travis Kelsey will have a big game. Um, but I see all three of them, Tyree, Travis, and, and Cream Hunt finding a way to get into the end zone. So, I think at the end of the day, we just have too many weapons, and um, that's a lot to really ask Carson Wentz to do. It's uh, coming to Arrowhead and get a win. We'll make plays, uh, especially if you challenge Marcus Peters. So, I, I, I like I like the Chiefs, and uh, that's my predictions. Anyways, that was just a quick video. Um, if you like, please subscribe. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them. Um, if you disagree, agree. Let me know what you think. Also, let me know your predictions. Uh, I want to know what you're going to think. AFC West will shape up. Um, how would they fare versus the, uh, the NFC? Um, who's coming out the AFC West? Is it Oakland? Is it Kansas City? Is it Denver? Is it San Diego? Definitely not either of those two. Um, are the Patriots on a downhill slide? They'll obviously win their division, but. Can Pittsburgh beat New England potentially if Kansas City wins the AFC? All things to think about. Just leave me, let, let me know in your comment section. And uh, until next time, go Chiefs.